Hello. <laughs> Always a tough crowd. <laughs> well, Punk, uh, this, of course, was not the result that you had hoped for, but you talked uh, all along about this was about the journey as well. So now that it's, it's, it's over, at least for the moment, uh, didn't come up your way. How are you feeling about the whole process right now? The process was magical. You know, I'm just disappointed. I'm, I'm beating myself up way more than, uh, than I got beat up. You know, I'm, I'm supremely disappointed, but you know, the answer to your question is, I, aside from the outcome, wouldn't change anything for the world. It was, uh, just being out there under the lights, most fun I've ever had. And to say it again, second best day of my life. First one was my wife when I married her. Thank you. Yeah, I would have thrown the, the right hand um, faster. I think I was a little late throwing the two, and then I got taken down. You, you did come out incredibly aggressive. How did that match up with the plan? Was the intention to, to, to rush forward that way? Yeah, you know, I, watching what little tape there is on Mickey, I, I think uh, nobody pressured him, you know what I mean? Um, and, and once he got in a rhythm, especially in that first pro fight he had, uh, because the one with Mike Jackson was was so short, but his, his the first the first pro fight, it's, uh, the guy was just moving backwards. The plan was to just move forward. You know, I was uh, I was either going to come back with my shield or on it, <laughs> and I, I think that's the that's the game I played. And just last for me, you, you said at the end that this is not the end of the journey that you want to keep going. Do you intend to do that at the UFC level, or would you be willing to say? You know, maybe do it at a lower level so that you can continue to develop your skills, not at the highest level of the sport. My initial uh, venture into this was going to be at the lowest level. You know, um, this opportunity just got presented to myself. I would have been a fool to say no. Uh, I, I, I don't know what happens for, you know, from here on out. You know, and I, I, what if I get cut? I don't know. You know, you know what I mean? Um, I, I think that's a possibility. Uh, do I want that to happen? No. Uh, but who's to say where I go from here? I don't know. I, I definitely want to keep going. You know, I, I'm the kind of guy, you know, I just I just fell off a bike. You know, I'm not I'm not just going to shelve it and leave it in the middle of the street. I got to get back on the ride. And you said you definitely wanted to get back into the cage uh, again. How long do you think it's going to be before we see you back in the cage? Do you want to take some time off to train? Do you want to get back in there quickly? Uh, hard question to answer right now. You know, the uh, obviously it's the same that I just lost. Uh, I'd love to jump back in there as quickly as I can and erase that, but uh, you know, I got to go back to the drawing board. Um, I sort of look like the elephant man right now, so I think. Uh, and the, the 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 plan was to always, you know, take some time. Um, my wife's put up with a lot through this process, and you know, instead of her cooking meals for me and stuff like that, I, I got to cook some stuff for her. And you're a student of the sport. Well, what did you take away from that that you need to go back and learn, work on? Uh, just timing, you know. Um, I, I, I got no excuses for what happened. Uh, he's just, Mickey was the better man. And uh, a big talking point all week was what music you would walk out to, and you stuck with a song. Yeah. What was the decision there? It's an awesome, awesome song. Don't you like it? I love it. What don't you like about Living Color? What's wrong with you? No, I love the song. Oh, you love it. Okay. All right. And uh, last, you seem to take a, a moment before you entered the cage to soak in the moment. Like, what did you... Uh, I guess gather from that moment well uh, you know I don't know if it's ever gonna happen again I didn't know at that time you know um, I, I fully believed in myself I know my coaches believed in me my team believed in me uh, I thought I was gonna win you know I, I so but but even even then I, I still wanted to you know the scoreboard could have fallen on me I, I've referenced that like three separate times this week I don't know what's gonna happen to me I get hit by a bus I could die eating pizza tonight I, I don't know so I, I just try to enjoy life, you know, even the bad stuff. This is the bad stuff, you know what I mean? But I'm, I'm still, it sounds crazy. I'm still happy. I still love it. You know, one thing that I think a lot of, you know, people said and, and media members said, and you may have even said this at one point, is that you would feel pretty comfortable. If there was one advantage you might have over Mickey is that you were used to the spotlight and perhaps he wasn't. Did that turn out to be the case, or when you got out there, since this is so different, and it, it's, it's just different in meaning to you as well, how were your emotions, you know, right before the f fight started? They were, they are steady as a rock, you know, I was, I was warmed up, I was ready to go, um, I, you know, butterflies, because I'm about to, you know, throw hands, but uh, I wasn't nervous, so to speak. Yeah, I felt fine. 
And another thing was like, if, if well, CM Punk get out there and, and you know embarrass himself, well, he looked terrible. And you know, I would I would think a lot of people would call this a lopsided loss. But are you are you proud of you know what you put out there tonight? <laughs> I, I don't think. I, th- there's there's probably an alternate reality where I win and I'm still disappointed in myself. Uh, that's just that's just who I am. You know, uh, I'm I'm just really really hard on myself. I you know, I lost, and it sucks, and it was lopsided, and it's upsetting. But you know, I I know I'm better than that. <clears throat> Punk to your to your left. I am curious. Uh, your wife was. You know, very uh, you know cautious about you know watching you train, being here tonight. W- what did you say to her? What did she say to you after the fight? Oh, you guys are all gonna make me cry, <laughs> you bastards. Um, uh, she just said she was proud of me. You know. You know, you, you said throughout this entire process this was about living a dream, and it didn't go your way tonight, but you still said you, you it was a night of your life. I mean, I know the answer is no regrets, but, I mean, at the end of the day, I mean, did you get out of this, you know, outside of the win, did you still get out of this what you wanted on the day you signed December 2014? No, I didn't win. <laughs> you know, that that's, that's what I wanted. I wanted to win. I wanted to perform, you know. It didn't happen. What did your your coaches say to you afterwards? I know you know you walked by. I think I not to not to misquote you, but I think when I saw you walk by Media Row, you said, "Damn it!" That was kind of like the you know just that that feeling. What did Duke and what did the guys say to you in the back? Same thing. You know, they said they were proud of me, and I just feel like I let them down. Last question. I know you said you're not you're not going to decide tonight when you're going to return. How quickly are you going to get back in the gym, though? How quickly do you want to be back in the training to get better? Well, I think they're going to force me to stay out because I have this uh, this ear, and I got a couple stitches in my eye. But you know, I'd 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 be back in there Monday if it was up to me. A couple more guys uh, back here. Um, I know you're kind of guarded, kind of coming into this fight as to what you were going to do. You didn't really show your hand too much. But is there a regret? I guess that you didn't get to show more of what you learned in the last month or a year and a half of training with Duke and everything that you didn't get to uh, demonstrate your skills a little more? No, because I, I, you know, who would I, who would I have been demonstrating those skills for? You know, I think the people who believe in me knew what uh, I was good at. And then the the people who were negative were going to be negative no matter what. You uh, touched on that, but there was a smile on your face while you're walking to the octagon that we hadn't seen before. I mean, this was really the culmination of everything. What were you feeling when you hear that familiar music, but it's something else? I mean, what what was going through your mind? Yeah, you know, like the the switch got flipped. Um, I was happy. You know, I, I, I didn't really think how the crowd would react, you know, but uh, they showed me love and that you know that you you can't help but smile at that you know and it, and it felt good and I felt where uh, I felt like I was you know in a way back where I belong I was happy uh, it felt right it felt good I was I was ready to fight we're going to go aerial and then uh... back here uh, what what did you say to Mickey afterwards before they you know read the the official you know, finish. It seemed like you guys were talking. Did you say anything to him? Yeah. Um, throughout, you know, like in interviews and stuff like that, he would say things like, uh, you know, I don't, I didn't, that he, speaking about himself, saying he didn't belong in the UFC and, you know, he, he didn't, uh, he didn't belong on the main card. And I, I told him, you know, everyone else is going to say that about you throughout your entire career. Why, why are you going to say that about yourself? I said, don't ever, Don't ever put yourself down, you know. Uh, Even if you think you don't deserve to be on the main card, you're on the main card. Just shut the fuck up and fake it till you make it. You know what I mean? Like, don't don't sell yourself short. You know what I mean? And just two other ones. Um, Did anyone from the UFC come up to you afterwards, Dana White, any of the the owners, and give you any kind of indication about what they thought of the fight and what your future in the company is? No, I haven't talked to Dana yet. I mean, I could imagine what... I mean, I, I talked to a couple people, you know, and they just shook my hand, 
said, hold your head up, be proud of yourself. But I, 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 I <laughs> it's not like I, I fought a good fight. So, you know. And uh, lastly, you've been very sort of stoic throughout this entire process. Um, and of course, you know, you're emotional and I know you're disappointed in the loss. Are the emotions specifically tied to the loss or is this maybe some of the emotions of the last 21 months and the ups and downs and everything that you had to go through to get to this point? Is it all sort of coming out at this moment? Yeah, I think it's all coming out, you know. Uh, I mean, I had back surgery for this, you know. Um, and I think uh, I'm super happy that, you know, that's something that didn't bother me at all. Once once I got it fixed, I was like a different person, you know. So, like, I, I'm, I'm, I'm fortunate for that and I'm thankful for that. But I just think, uh, you know, even to come back from that, even to... You know, you, you know, it's like people can say it didn't belong here, and they said I wasn't going to make it to the octagon, and they said I wasn't going to make it after the back surgery, and then it was I wasn't going to make weight, and uh, you know, I, uh, I'm just I'm happy I did it, you know. Uh, but yeah, there's there's a lot of emotion involved, sure. Thank you, Phil. You're done. Okay. <laughs> I appreciate you all guys. Thank you very much.